Okay, um, so uh, we have a more uh, consolidated uh, plan now. And um, now we have a uh, total four vendors participating in this project and to integrate their uh, products uh, for a whole uh, scenario. And we also welcome Dr. Sharma to join our team uh, because he thinks our project is really interesting. So um, our you. purpose is to solve the data problem, the uh, pain that uh, all the schools have now. Um, according to a research report survey uh, from EdSearch uh, for uh, schools across the United States, um, schools are willing to trade product features with better system and data integration because all the data silos um, and all the integration problem, and they need to face that by themselves. So what school systems want is direct access to their data from software vendors, uh, help managing their data, um, better data warehousing and data mart solution that provide actionable real-time data, and also common data standards that are shared among software vendors. And that's what exactly SAPI can solve. So our plan um, in this uh, small demo is to integrate the products from uh, the four vendors and to demonstrate uh, what SAPI can do for us. So first of all, uh, we have a new uh, interface. It's a, a new um, avatar as an interface with the learner. Hello, I am BitMax, your personal learning companion. I know all your learning progress across systems. I'm here to help you. So um, it represents the spirit of SAPI, and it's an interface of the LIs with the learner, uh, triggered by SAPI statements. Uh, this learning companion can facilitate the learning flow by uh, notification, encouragement, um, recommendation, and also like noticing that your friends are learning. Would you like to join them? Or ask learners feedback on the confidence and uh, the feedback on the content. Uh, even like uh, listen to you when you are bored um, this is a oh sorry, this is a scenario for uh, this small project. Um, before the class, the self study learner has two options. One is to watch video, and the second is to read an ebook from another vendor. And in the class. Uh, we use uh, quiz tool and IIS. IIS means instant uh, response system. And so teacher can do pre-test and post-test. And also our prop students understanding in his lecture. And after class, um, there are uh, three categories. One is practice and review. And again, there are two options. One is online uh, website, online platform, and the other is offline mobile apps. And the second category is a forum. Uh, learner can do group, group discussion, and they can ask help on um, homework, and like uh, um, others can help uh, their question. So like high performers can help low performers. And the third category is uh, on Google Apps. Uh, we'll have a scenario like a teacher uh, assign a real world problem for student. And students need to collab collaborate and cooperate to solve the problem on a Google document. So this is the questions we'd like to answer. 
and also uh, teacher or learner can take action. Most of the purpose is for teacher. Um, before class, which content is better for self-study to compare content's impact? Um, which type of content is better for whom? So that we know learners' learning style. And teacher can also do A-B testing on the content. And teacher need to define the performance index. Before entering class, teacher already know the self-study records. And before starting, he can prop students' understanding by pretest. And the real-time report assists him to decide his lecture content. And in, he, in this way, he knows how well faith learning works instantly and identify reasons. And in the class, here, uh, students are grouped into three or more. And this grouping can be automated by the LIs or by uh, teacher selection. So in a group discussion, teachers give some exercise problems. And these exercise problems will be similar to uh, post-test after this. So this is to, um, we want to answer uh, the impact of peer learning. You can uh, measure pre-test and post-test performance and compare them. So we know um, how peer learning can be improved or which group works better. And if this teacher wants to uh, enhance peer learning impact, he can tie the group overall performance to individual score. And after the class, um, we want to observe about uh, first the practice, uh, which content helps high performers or low performers. And also the bitmax will suggest students who aren't doing well to check out resources and uh, ask help on forum. And high performers can proceed to more difficult levels. And for the group discussion, does so this kind of uh, group discussion really help high performance or low performance? And teacher can reward those who help others. Uh, this is through the gamification uh, mechanism that's available later. And for the cooperative problem solving um, on the Google Docs, everyone's contribution is recorded by SAPI. And so for this kind of high order thinking, uh, we will let teacher judge and score. So in this scenario, this is the use cases that will involve um, video, um, several types of video, normal, um, and uh, uh, student can do annotation highlight inside the videos or quizzes embedded inside the videos. Um, assessments, uh, we have MCQ, traditional MCQ, and LIS. Um, this LIS tool is more like a quizzes embedded in videos. Here is quizzes embedded inside slides. But I think the reporting will be similar for both cases and drag and drop assessment type and self-paced practices. Also ebook. Um, the ebook used here is more like a fixed layout ebook, more like slice and package into an ebook. And forum, mobile apps, and also Google apps. Um, if we have time, uh, we will do a uh, gamification to uh, add on the LIS. Gamification is actually like SAPI. Uh, SAPI collect granular learning behavior data and enable activities to be facilitated across systems. And gamification design content context and engineer the granular behaviors for positive outcomes. 
So both are, are like a layer on top of learning, the current learning settings and activities and any, anything. Whatever you can record and for us, SAPI is the core for analytics and gamification is the skin and the flow design. So, um, we will allow teacher to experiment the weighting of gamification rewards on each behavior. And there are a total of four different kinds of pages for four different categories of behavior. So the first kind is to uh, correspond to the learner's effort and engagement, like a time span in video, ebook, practice, all the uh, contents, also like taking notes and do actions on form. Uh, the second kind is more uh, like a, a personal skill. The traditional definition of um, standard test, like test scores, practice questions, and test levels. And here, uh, for example, if teachers are still experimenting with split learning, he can reduce the weighting of pretest. And the third kind of category is higher order thinking. Here, a uh, teacher can see the thinking process that each student, uh, uh, each student uh, have contributed in the thinking process and teacher will judge and input scores. And also, um, an extra feature is, extra points is for uh, students ask great questions on forum. Teacher can give extra points. And the last one is soft skill, like uh, students help other students and the teamwork, peer learning, and cooperation shown in the problem solving. So uh, next is our virtual settings. Because we don't uh, spend our time to construct content, we use virtual content and virtual setting to demonstrate this proof of concept. It's a framework that later a teacher can use this framework to put their content and their activity in this framework to facilitate a real uh, learning activity, a learning lesson plan across systems and then later they can uh, do actions and answer questions from the reporting. So thank you for your attention.